it's a team, team photo here. Team I'm Hayley from Black Manta Photography and this is our very first vlog of one of our trips that we're doing and it couldn't be a bigger and better trip than we've ever done before. We are headed to Truck Lagoon. So we're just finishing off our packing and making sure that we've got everything ready. We leave at um, two o'clock today so uh, really excited. Um, we've got a long way to go so for any of you that know, Truck Lagoon is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, pretty much, um, in Micronesia. So we are flying to South Korea, first of all, and then we change from South Korea and we go to Guam. And then we'll have our last flight from Guam to Truck um, on Friday. So lots of travelling to get there, um, but hopefully it will be worthwhile. Um, so yeah, we wanted to vlog the trip, we wanted to show you uh, what goes on when we go on these dive trips, um, the sort of thing that we do and we see and people we meet. Um, so let us know if you like it, give us a thumbs up um, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. <laughs> just sat having some food. We've come to a very beautiful looking bar, restaurant, and we've ordered ourselves a gin and tonic. So I'm having a Hendrix, obviously, and Richard is having a tanqueray. And we're probably gonna have a mound of food before we get on the plane at seven o'clock. Um, this is the quietest airport I've ever been to. Um, we're in Heathrow. Oh, this place is called The Commission, by the way. It looks very nice. They do gin and tonic, and they do big, fat, juicy burgers, which is just what I want. <laughs> I look horrendous because we just had a 10 hour flight from London. Um, we're both shattered <laughs> and we know we're we've got another two flights to go. <laughs> um, but this airport is pretty nice. Um, Sorry, Korea. Lots of shops, lots of food, lots of Korean food, um, and this huge mall behind us. The place here called Nuclear Steak. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting. Like what? Nuclear steak. Nuclear steak, interesting. That's how long I've been looking at it. Finally made it to uh, Truck Lagoon. We are currently at the Blue Lagoon Hotel. Um, coming through from the airport, it's safe to say that this area is um, is very poor. Um, lots of sort of makeshift houses and um, sort of families running around. Um, but strangely beautiful. Um, it's really, really rural and rustic. Um, even the hotel that we're staying in is very basic, but. As you can see from the background, it's right on the lagoon. Um, so it's stunning here. Um, there's chickens running around. Um, sort of really peaceful, very quiet. Um, and I mean, the view is just absolutely amazing. Um, so we're gonna go get some breakfast now. It's about seven o'clock. Um, and then probably take it easy for the rest of the day. We get on the MV Odyssey tomorrow. Um, so that's really exciting because then it means that we're diving soon. So really excited um, to get on the boat. Living 
Put your hand in mine. We're doing so we've just had our lunch and um, we went out for a snorkel earlier. Um, the irony being that there were 12 of us here, we're all technical divers, um, went for a snorkel but none of us had brought a snorkel with us. <laughs> so that was quite amusing. Um, thankfully we can all just hold our breath. a bit of a mess right now but a nice sink and then the bathroom which is actually really nice for a live board one of the nicest bathrooms that I've been privileged to use all of our stuff hanging up but a really good shower everything is super clean not that you want to see the toilet there but there you go for the rest of I mean, oh wow, look at this, you can see all the coral. Absolutely stunning. See the crew? Hello. Ken, who yeah. was our guide? Yeah. Saying hi. Uh, look at the water. That is yeah. super clear. There's Mike, the captain. And Brandy. He's waving, second in command. Wowzers. Chop off right there. Yeah. Ah. We're in the Pacific Ocean now. No work and all play, but we're forever young. Let's just throw it all away and have some fun. Okay, so we are um, headed to do a shark dive. It's towards the end of the week now, so it's Friday. Really, really sad that it's coming to the end. Um, but excited to go and see some sharks. And it's the most still we've ever had here for the week, so it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited to get back in the water. Things that money can't buy, yeah, we're never gonna die. Baby, it's summer for the rest of us.
Living our lives, put your hand in mine We're doing all the things that money can't buy Yeah, we're never gonna die Baby, it's summer for the rest of our lives Baby, it's summer for the rest of our lives So we are back at the Blue Lagoon Resort, which you can see behind me. I can't actually see myself because I'm blinded by the sun. Um, but it's our last day and night on the Odyssey um, after an amazing week's diving here in Trick Lagoon. I'm really sad to be leaving the boat, if I'm honest. We've got two days at Blue Lagoon and then we fly back to London, um, which is going to be horrific. <laughs> going to be another 48 hour trip um, but it's been absolutely incredible totally worth the travel um, we couldn't have asked for better wrecks better dives and the weather the last two days has been incredible as you can see behind me it is absolutely beautiful about packed up and ready to leave the Odyssey. Um, really sad to be leaving the boat, but the weather has took a turn for the worst. So, the turn for the worst, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna head back to the Blue Lagoon Resort now. be um, quite nice just to sit down and have a chat to you about our trip to Truck Lagoon. Um, so been trying out vlogging and bringing you with us on the trip um, and we are back at the Blue Lagoon Resort now. Um, weather is pretty dismal at the moment, um, very grey, cloudy and raining on and off. Um, which is a complete contrast to the last couple of days which have been glorious sunshine. So I just wanted to sit down and sort of share a few sort of thoughts about the trip, um, sort of things that I've really enjoyed and kind of just give you the lowdown on what it's been like. So um, up until we got on the boat, I was in a bit of turmoil about whether we'd made the right decision to spend all this money and come out here um, but as soon as we stepped foot on the Odyssey it was like we'd been transported to dive heaven um, the liverboard itself is perfect for all your diving needs um, it even has a dive lift on the back which means that when you're coming up from a dive and you've got all your um, your kit on particularly if you're tech divers and you've got side mount you've got stages there's a lot of kit to kind of get off um, at the end of a dive you just jump on the lift and they bring you up to the dive deck um, so that was amazing um, I'm gonna really struggle now with liverboards that don't have a dive lift because um, I absolutely loved it it was brilliant accommodation wise really good um, our room was really spacious, we had a massive bed, uh, clearly two twins pushed together but it was spacious, clean. The saloon, um, did you call it the saloon? Di dining room, whatever you call it, um, was actually really nice. They had smaller round tables set out around a central island so you could sit in sort of groups of four um, and then your food was served in the middle which I thought worked really well. And then at the end there was a bar um, stacked full of anything that you could think of um, and everything's all inclusive so none of this paying for alcohol at the end of the week. Um, I think we we bled them dry <laughs> in gin, in beer, in rum. Um, yeah, big group of 16 Brits, uh, 15 of them men <laughs> and me, we pretty much drank uh, everything that they had. 
so yeah the boat is amazing um really really enjoyed uh diving on it the uh staff are amazing the captain mike he's very well versed in anything to do with truck lagoon so you get a little mini history lesson every time he does the dive briefing um which is fantastic because you then know the story behind the wreck um why it sank what it was used for before operation hailstorm all that kind of stuff he's really really clued up on it um he's even made a documentary so he was able to show us clips of the documentary um which was really good and then the wrecks themselves were just beyond what i had in my head what i expected um having dived thistle gorm and thinking that was an amazing wreck which it is this is this is a lagoon full of you know three dozen thistle gorms it's it's that ridiculous <laughs> um but whereas the thistle gorm has been uh scavenged and, and degraded and had lots of things taken from it so you can start to see it becoming less and less um like it would have been before it sank the wrecks here are in pristine condition. I mean, some of them have collapsed and, and some of them are breaking apart, but they are, you know, untouched pretty much um, from when they went down. All of them have their propellers, um, some of which you can see, some of which are submerged beneath the sand, um, but the wrecks are just incredible. Um, you know, the Sanka sounds amazing. It's filled with life. It's covered from bow to stern with as much coral as you could imagine um, and it's yeah it's just incredible um, and the Fujikawa which is the destroyer that was amazing to see um, having never seen a ship like that it's really amazing to kind of go down and, and see something like that um, so yeah really really good I think I was kind of settled on the Sankitan being my favourite wreck until we did the San Francisco Maru at the end of the week and the Rio de Janeiro, um, both of which were amazing. Uh, the Rio, because it's so accessible, it's you know 30 meters and there's so much to see, um, so many artifacts and, and a really beautiful wreck. And then the San Francisco, which is sort of 50 meters plus, um, but has so much history to it um, and has you know, tanks on its deck and bombs in its hold and a huge, huge gun on the bow, which was breathtaking. Um, so I think those two are probably gonna be my favorites from the week. We have just had a mega storm come through. <laughs> As you can see from the drain pipes, they are pouring water. And if we look below, we have a moat around our room and a water feature lasted maybe 10 minutes it's now starting to dissipate <laughs> if we look over here James has decided to put his um, scuba mask on to read his magazine which is a pretty good idea, to be honest. <laughs> Guys, I've screwed on that one. It's our last day here in Blue Lagoon and in Truck Lagoon. Um, we head home at one o'clock today. So um, we're just spending the morning getting some final shots, footage of the island. Um, parts of us don't want to leave because I mean this view is just incredible, this place is stunning. And then parts of us kind of want to really go home. Um, see the cats and <laughs> sounds that sounds. They're just absolutely stunning. You can't really complain about this, can you? There's Richard on the sandbank. Let's go and see what he's looking at.
do. Um, in the end, we just sat inside and watched the films and drank some rum, as you do. So yeah, pretty special place. We are all packed up and ready to go. Um, we're just waiting for our bus to take us to the airport and then we'll be on our way. I just thought I'd come and do a final film um, while I wait and just do the last view of the lagoon before we go home. So yeah, it's been an amazing trip and already plans to come back in 2020. So can't wait. So we are in the downtown area of Guam Whoa. because the airport is rubbish Shut <laughs> and we couldn't check in so we had five hours to kill so we're now in this hey, GGI's here we go GGI's because when in Guam <laughs> you go to GGI's what? I'm giving it pretty nice <laughs> loads of designer shots Whee, exciting! We're gonna have some real food. Oh, and you have to wait for the uh... yeah, go. Oh, let's go. We're going this way. I've always wanted to do this. Oh no, it's there. Look. It's very moist. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates that word. <laughs> Nobody likes the word moist. It's Friday. DJ Friday. Yay. We're so excited. For real food. <gasps> real food. Look at all these happy faces. <laughs> Everybody is seriously happy. Real food. <laughs> 